morning, good morning. This is Dr. G. This is Dr. Carnalita again there, checking in, checking in. Hey, I'm on the flight right now. I'm boarding, getting ready to go to Jamaica. And I just was taking a break, standing up a little bit because I've been in the wheelchair for a while, sitting, waiting to get checked in. And it put a toll on my hips right here, bothering me a little bit. Anyway, I just want to big up JetBlue because they've been having a great wheelchair service. God knows you guys have been awesome. The moment I arrived at the airport, everybody oh, be, hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> I love that, I love that vibes. We got vibes already, man. <laughs> yo, that's what people always do. When I put on the camera, they're always like, yo. <laughs> then they call me crazy and I'm not the one doing it. It's other people want to jump in on my live and just be like, yo. <laughs> yo, I'm so excited to go home and I haven't been home for a year now, which is a long time. I used to go home like three, four times of the year. Yo, me there. Well, I'm carried in, in, in Canada. Big up to the Canada machine. Big up to Lana from Florida. The Florida crew, me so come back. No worry, me so come back for the new year. Come have to come back to school. So I'll be back for the new year. I'm just heading down for two weeks. So when I head to the beach club, I'm going to show you guys the hotel that I keep talking about, where I grew up at and where I invested in. And so I want to do some, have some business to do at the beach club. Where as soon as I reach, um, I just have to head there to check up on my property and stuff. And then I head home because I have to be quarantined. They have a curfew at 7 o'clock. So it's not like they have a lot of events going on this year, guys, like first time. It's going to be different. But I wanted you guys to follow my blogs and stuff so you, on Instagram and Facebook so you can see the process of how of what we need to do to travel. So basically what you guys got to do before you come to Jamaica is to get a travel permission. You need permission to come. Okay? And you need to get a test done. So what I did was to print off all of my tests. I printed my test results with my name and my date of birth. That is very important for you guys to have for your approval. Okay? So I got an approval up till like to be used up till like Christmas Eve. So they do have an expiration date on it. So once you get an approval, you have to kind of head on to the flight. Or if you have to change the flight, make sure you don't have to get a new approval, okay? So there's a website that you can go to and there's also an app. Also, guys, what you need to do is to have the... So one thing is the Corona test that need to be with your date of birth and your name. And if you print it, it's way easier. So I printed that with my negative test result I printed the certificate but the certificate don't have to be printed guys so if you don't have computer access or printer access you can have it electronically on your phone and you can show them at the airport once you show them anything on your phone at the airport and they're pro they prove that is you with your date of birth and your name then it's no problem so it was very smooth and easy guys this is just people boarding right now I'm just standing up I'm waiting for people to board and stuff so I can ease off my back pain a little bit because we're going to have a flight of about an hour, hour and a half. It's like an hour and a half flight. Big up Narada watching. Big up Ricky. Big up everybody out there worldwide. So yeah, man. So we presented, we presented those up front when you check in. The wheelchair service was awesome and helped me out with my bags because I have back issues and spinal cord issues that I have on thing, you know? So I have my underlying medical problems as well, so I have to be quarantined when I get home. So I can't be up and down place. Usually I'm not. I only get out when I can, like in the evening when it's cooler and stuff because of my pain with, with, with my back and stuff. Lifting tends to make, my, make me worse with the pain and thing, especially when I walk. So I was in the wheelchair for a while, just kind of checking up on my phone, getting my phone charged, doing some things. And then we finally got to board now. So instead of sitting down, sitting and putting that towel on my back, I'd rather stand up a little bit and stretch and run to the bathroom, you know? So the flight has been, the flight is ready to go there on time. What time is it now? Yep. It should be leaving right now. They're a little delayed right now. It should be taking off right now, but um, let's say that they're about 20 minutes late which is okay, as long as we reach safe, you know, it's all about safety. So they want people to wear the mask, so everybody wearing masks. <clears throat> so wear the mask, get your authorization, and get your corona tested, printed out, and then your boarding pass, so you can check in from the day before. So you can, you don't worry about it. Hey Rose, me know you well, welcome.
come on with me, you know, and I'm sorry. They all these jealous people, you know. <laughs> the jealous. Yeah, the jealous. The car be on the plane. Yeah, man. <laughs> We're just rubbing it in. <laughs> We're rubbing it in. Most of the time, I sit up front, you know, by the seats that have, like, way more leg room. But it, I, I didn't want that this time. I just wanted to make sure I have an aisle seat. So I'm right here by the aisle, you know. So it's very spacious in here, you know. They have social distance on the plane, but some planes said that they don't have like, that basically somebody gonna sit next to you. So in the back, there are some kids that are traveling alone and they're sitting right next to each other. So they're not social distancing on the plane. And data has shown that the transmission of the coronavirus is not so bad on the plane, especially when people cover up and, you know, still try to distance as best as possible. But as long as people wear masks, and you don't have to wear, they don't allow like the big old fancy mask with all the tubes and everything attached, you know. They just want you to wear something simple to cover up the face, okay. So basically with all the risk, you know, we're taking a risk by traveling as well, you know. So that is one reason why I am high risk when I get home. So when you do the approval, when you apply to travel, it asks all these screening questions. And just because I have underlying medical problems, like even if you have blood pressure, diabetes, certain little things, that's still chronic medical problems. Even if you have allergies, like I do. If you have allergies, that's a chronic medical problem. So the point is you have to be honest. Just be honest and fill out the form. And then the, the form will, they will basically determine whether you need to be quarantined or not, or if you can be out on the road. But coming from Florida alone is high risk because Florida has a lot of cases, you know what I mean? So that, that's probably what determines all that too. So they have that in the background and they have it where you fill out your customs form as well ahead of time, which normally you would do on the plane when you're heading down. So basically, Ricky says she can't, you know, in Canada with all the requirements and quarantine for Jamaica. He went to Colorado yesterday. Big up, Ricky. Colorado is a very nice place. I went there for like conference in the past and it's very, I love it there. Make sure you go up to Pikes Peak if you haven't been to Pikes Peak. Um, when you take the train up there to Pikes Peak, you can actually feel the the uh, the, 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 the sickness. They, they have altitude sickness. Some people get the altitude sickness and the nausea. And so when you're going up towards that, going up the mountain, you know, and eat some, eat some, your you know, the testicles, the cow testicles and all those little things. They have them fried <laughs> in Colorado. But Colorado is a very nice place. I love it there. And, uh, you know, I blog about medical marijuana, guys, because I go through a lot of pain and I use marijuana for medicine. <clears throat> and Colorado was one place where my ex-husband wanted us to move to because of the medicine, because of the weed being legal there and because of the medical side of things. But it's too cold for me. It's like I have a rod right here in the, in the metal, a metal rod in my back. I got my jacket here on the plane so I can keep warm and things of so the metal don't cause me to spasm up on my back you know what I mean so that winter the winter too much for me in Colorado or anywhere that would have too cold so typically for the past few years when the winter come I've been running away to home to Jamaica for my health because of my pain because of the metal rod but apart from that you know I was going to come go down spring break and they told us that we can't go down spring break in March so I canceled my flight in March you know big up to Barbara love 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 so I'll be safe. So basically I'll be home. I'm not really going out anywhere. Just going jam with my boo. I'm going to check my boo, my fiance. Because we haven't seen each other in a long time. And my family is down there as well. So we're just going to, you know, connect for Christmas. If I don't see them in between, we just link up for Christmas and think we plan to do a little. We're not even gathering for Christmas this year, I think. Because of Corona and it's just different. Things just different. So we rather go out. We're going to go out and have some dinner together and just go somewhere because couple restaurant and we're kind of tired of Jimmy we're tired of the traditional dinner we're tired of the ham and tur and the same thing we're always cooking a lot and inviting people so we'd rather go out and eat some lobster like I want to get some lobster thermidor some thermidor where they make the lobster with the cheese in it the creamy cheese oh that's what I want for Christmas is some nice lobster or you know some food differently from that from what we normally do Shady says, I think it's three days quarantine. You have to do from you are an American citizen. Yeah. So Shady, yeah, man. And it might change when you even reach or arrive, you know. But the point is, you, when you apply to travel, you're consenting to be tested anytime. 
and to be tra traced as well so what they're gonna do is monitor you while you're at home they can call your phone they can show up where you live so I had to pick an address it's like I live at four different places <laughs> I live at like two different three different places is where I could have stayed but I had to pick one location to show them that I'm gonna stay one place you understand and that it have running water so to wash your hands it have room enough where you know if anybody else in the house you can be quarantined differently from other people so basically they really go into details about where you're staying and you know your medical issues yeah big up Earl Curlew big up Daisuki big up Kleshia hey Kleshia you guys need to follow her she's been doing some inspirational stuff and showing us how to take better care of our bodies and even make money as well so you know I'm always about making money yeah so I always try different things to make money and thing especially from home because I've been home for a while with my disability from my spinal cord so I try different things so one of the businesses that I'm into I'm a hotelier I grew up in the hotel when I was little I, I'm 42 now and over 42 years now my family and I have been in the hotel business but I'm, a, I'm actually an owner I'm, I actually own rooms at the hotel so what happened, I'm going to go check up on my room because we did some remodeling on my room the other day where we fixed my bathroom and basically, you know, I want to see how it looks in life, you know, in person before I have to quarantine. So as soon as I reach, I'm going to go take care of that and show you guys. I'll show you guys the hotel later on and show you the room. You know, I can show you an example of a room and how one of the rooms look depending on the occupancy because they might all be full because it's season now. So the rooms are getting full guys so if you're local or away guys and you want to get a room at the beach club condos link me you can inbox me directly because if you go online sometimes you can find rooms at the beach club but they're not our rooms they're not the rooms that my family take manages for other owners and for ourselves so we are like a subsidiary of the hotel so we're like a side office like we're we're in the lobby but we're basically a business that exists for over 40 something years where we rent we're like property managers so my family takes care of the hotel on the property they do a lot of the maintenance of the hotel from i've been you know from before i've been born guys so basically the taking a vacation is not just a vacation it's about business my, this is about business for me as well gotta renew my medical license i'm licensed in jamaica so Typically, I like to take a trip even once a year around this time to just get away to home to take care of some little business and so at the end of the year. Kleshia says, that's right, boo. Broke money don't make no money. Yeah. And you have to spend money to make money. I always tell people that, like, I have to buy this plane ticket and it might not be the cheapest ticket, but, you know, I have to spend money to make money sometime and invest in my technology and so to keep in touch i got a new laptop the other day that i'm traveling with now i hope not like that call from the jubilee side 1327 going down to jamaica today yeah, empty man Montego bay it should take us about an hour and 20 That's minutes it? to get there we get up there i'll kind of see go sign off there as fast as i can but while you're in your seat i'd like you to keep your seat belt fast for me just in case you find a bump on the road down there it should be very smooth and light on the way here in the meantime as well keep your masks on cover your mouth and chin there for me so we can keep everybody healthy on the trip down and then enjoy some time uh, down there on the beach there. Right now, our maintenance is looking at uh, one of our engines right now. There's a little bit of a dent in one of the I'm blades. I'm so excited. I wasn't no, in the mood at all. God no. A little dent in one of the blades that <laughs> has to be inspected. So mostly it's just a paperwork exercise, but we have to have them check it out and make sure that everything's good to go. And, uh, I got some food at the airport, the food expenses at the airport, but I got my sandwich. Right so the meantime, uh, enjoy the flight. We'll get you there. Thanks got some sandwiches at the airport and my water you know because I wasn't sure about the food on the plane usually they don't some planes sell food some of them do some of them don't and I like my hot food I like to get a hot sandwich sometimes and a water I'm not a big coffee person like I used to be years ago you know I try and stay away from the caffeine because I'm naturally wired I'm naturally hype and then I have the nerve damage problem with me be wired sometimes too so yo Yo, me excited cliche because it's a long time I don't go on a vacation and I've just been feeling bummed out just staying home not working and you know I miss medicine I miss practicing my medicine no matter how much different businesses I try and the pain been getting to me with the weather I could feel it in my body like I, I don't want to get out of bed and I want to just wrap up in the bed and take so thank God my son is around as well he goes to school in the mornings and have to be at home on the computer in the morning so that gets me out of the bed and I've been taking care of my son but the nice thing is I share my son with his with my ex-husband and he's with my ex-husband so I got a little freedom to take a trip you know and just get my space 
you know sometimes you just need some time out for yourself to just take care of yourself guys so even if it's taking a vacation and just vegging out a little bit or going down the street if you're in Jamaica and you want a room to rent like I have a lot of local people who call me for rooms all the time because they just want to spend the day at the beach for a birthday if you have like a birthday and you want to just get away from out of the house and you know we have a pool jacuzzi it's a huge beach so you can social distance on the beach yeah man the plane empty man the plane empty yeah the plane empty so yeah so come along story short if you're local and you want to come stay with us you have we have some good um, prices of the rooms they're very reasonable i would say especially for rooms that are on the beach where all, all the rooms are on the beach so it don't matter which room you get it either faces the garden area or it literally on the sand on the beach but the hotel itself is on the beach side not across the road from the beach we have a gym across the road from the beach little shops across the road little bars stuff um, if it's still there uh, but the supermarkets right down the street so you don't have to worry about shopping too much or exposing yourself too much when you go you can get your groceries go back to your hotel and quarantine at the hotel some people have to quarantine in a government facility or at a hotel by by you know because of their results or because of their risk um, and they have to pay by the day for that but if you have somewhere that you live and they know that you have enough room at the house where you're at and running water and those types of things to be healthy while you're there then you're allowed to stay home so that's what they determine with the screening so anyway with that i just i don't want to prolong this too long i just want you guys share the life for me share 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 the information so you can see what it's like as a traveler to get out of fort lauderdale to head to jamaica remember your travel authorization do it ahead of time remember your corona test has to be done within 10 days but not earlier they don't want it too early and they don't want it too late meaning not too late sorry better you have it a few days before the flight than to have it too late otherwise it won't, it won't count so remember within 10 days call it nine days so do it nine days before you fly so you're not you don't do it too early and then you get time to get back the result you need to get back the result and print the actual result or have it electronically with your date of birth and your name on it now when i went for my corona test i didn't got cvs cvs has rapid tests available uh, i'm not rapid tests but they have drive through tests available guys free testing if you qualify so basically <clears throat> If you qualify for the free test, you don't have to pay a fee, but they can charge you up to like hundred and odd dollars is what CVS was charging, almost two hundred dollars for the test. It's not cheap, so be careful when you do all those things online. And sometimes when you do the screening at first and uncheck one or two things, it tells you you have to pay. If anything, go back and change the answer. You know, <laughs> change something and see if they, maybe if that is what happened, why you have to pay for the test. That's what happened with me. Um, but if you don't have any symptoms, they were saying you don't have to get tested. But there was some question about, um, there was some other question that I didn't check and I went back and checked it and I qualified for the test. So the point is, the app from CVS does not have your date of birth on it and your name fully. So if you show somebody, maybe they might not believe it's your test. So when you, but when you go on the computer, like through your email, CVS emails you and tells you the result is ready. So what you do, you click on the email and you can show them that. So you can show them that it's your email first of all and it's in your email. But when you actually open up the test, it has your date of birth and your full name at the top with your medical record number. So just to give you guys some little tips, some logistics, because a lot of people, one guy was traveling this week and he had a flight the next day and didn't know he needed to get approved first. He was going back home for good. And uh, I'm just going to visit and come back. But it doesn't matter whether I'm visiting or staying. It's still the fact that you need to get the screening done. So you can do it as a resident. You can do it as a non-resident. It doesn't matter. You go through pretty much the same questions, guys. All right? It's just a matter of where you're going to be staying at. If it's a hotel or somebody's house or your own home and so forth. So they can find you. So what they do is provide you with a phone number of your parish. Like I'm in Westmoreland. And right now, Westmoreland has increased cases of coronavirus. So they've actually put on a curfew where people go in by 7 o'clock and thing. So there's not a lot of things, gatherings going on right now, or they're not really allowed to gather in the beginning, in the first place. You know, it's limited. But now, even during the holiday time, they know people really get out during the holiday and gather. So the beaches are closed. 
but you see if you stay at the hotel like where I'm at if you stay at the beach club you're already on the beach nobody can stop you from going in the water nobody can stop you from going in the sea because you're at a hotel where you stay at you understand but you can't be up and down to the beach and spend the day at the beach and go back home that type of thing you understand so it's best to just check into the hotel and know that we are certified you have to get certified as a hotel or people who are putting up um, tourists whether it's tourists or local guests you need to be certified by the tourist board to be able to have people stay because they want to see that you're sanitizing the rooms properly they want to see that you're changing the sheets steaming down the place well cleaning up the handles and the place in the, you know cleaning the surfaces well in the rooms as so you know not just your routine cleaning and sanitizing that we normally do that's what we normally do anyway when everybody when anytime anybody leaves the room so we've implemented some extra steps and extra things that we needed to do by law you know because of the health care you know because of what's going on with the pandemic so just know that we're keeping safe everybody's keeping safe a lot of people cancel and have stopped and, and decide not to come because they just really don't want to be bothered by what they have to go through but it's very easy guys it's not stressful just just go to the application fill it out just be truthful and fill it out get the corona test and then you're set so don't stress it it's not no big deal it's not no big deal when i did it for somebody this week it took one it took like an hour for them to get the approval he was going on the flight the next day i didn't know he was to do it and he was working on the road way out of state was a you know he was out of florida coming to catch a flight the next day and he was grateful that I was able to go online and get his information and fill it out for him. So you can have someone fill it out for you. All right, guys, it's allowed. As long as you tell them that somebody else filling it out and who filling it out is no problem. You can sign it for somebody and just say, you know what, you help somebody to fill out the screening. Okay. And like I say, if you don't have access to a computer, you can keep it electronically in your email once you get the approval and you can show them at the airport but on your phone. All right, because a lot of stuff is electronic now, so they understand what's going on, and they know people don't have access to printers all the time. Okay, guys, so that's convenient as well. As long as you get the approval and you have access to it, then that's cool. But I print things off so it's in the hand, and they can see it right in front of them. And I rather print it and know that I have it. That's what I did this morning um, from last night. Print off my boarding pass, this Corona test, and I print the certificate. It's just one paper. I just bring all three of them when you're ready to check in and then you set. So that's basically it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm going to give this phone some time to charge up and think. Big up to everybody watching. Anybody want to come on my live? Big up to Barbara and everybody watching still seen. When I reach home, I'm going to update you guys about the process as to how it was when I went through the airport. And basically what I had to do when I get to my Mobe, how it was and, um, you know, while I wait for my ride to pick me up, okay? Because more than likely, I'm going to have to just chill by the bar a little bit and wait for, for Smiley to pick me up, my boo, to pick me up at the airport. All right, I usually wait right there, so by the bar, they have some good rum punch <laughs> and good patty and all those things. But um, it's a little spot right there in Montego Bay. I'm going to Montego Bay, guys. So what you do, guys, if you want to come to Negril Beach Club Condos, come to Negril, come check us. Fly into Montego Bay. Come to Montego Bay, all right? You can go to Kingston too, but Kingston is like three, four hours drive. It's far. Or some people fly to Kingston, then fly to Negril or Mobe and then come down. So you have different routes depending where you are. So guys, remember you're all welcome. Clive, is that you in England? It's a long time when I see you in a Clive. Inbox me, man. DM me your number, all right? So we can link up stars. A long time when I keep in touch. So for all of you guys who haven't been in touch with me in a long time, inbox me your number because I lost a lot of people's numbers and I really don't keep in touch with people because of my pain and just my everyday just surviving the days and so you know i don't keep in touch with a lot of people so i appreciate those people who keep in touch i appreciate those people who invite me out and thing and who understand what i go through you know because a lot of times i'm in pain or uncomfortable and i just don't make it out out on the road to support you guys so if you can help me by supporting support me please by sharing my lives for me and helping me by sharing the flyers help me to share the flyer for the condos okay the, the Negro Beach Club condos is a blue flyer that has all the phone numbers on there. So if anybody wants to book, you can book directly with me. I find out the information for you based on your dates and what you're inquiring about, how much people in the room, what kind of room you want. So we have studio, 
one bedroom, two bedroom rooms. All right, a studio can hold like two people comfortably. Some studios have two beds, some have one. Then we have studios with kitchen, with some without kitchen, some with kitchen. You can get rooms as low as fifty dollars, and it's beach. You know, it's on the beach, you know, which is a good price for a night. It just depends on the availability. But during the season, those rooms go up to like eighty dollars a night as well too. So you know, not to hold back on the price. You guys can know the price. If you guys find out that in the same hotel that they have better prices than what I give you, you can let me know, and I'll just match the price. I will just give you the same price. But if you book with us directly, you don't have to go through the online process. I end up at the wrong people in the hotel. Come and book with us at the condos. They, they, they just book directly with us at the condos. Hey, Miss Ebony, it's so true. We hardly anybody on the flight. Stop touching the mask. What happened is hot. You know why I keep touching it? It's hot. It's uncomfortable. It's real uncomfortable. It's, it's like it's hot. <laughs> it's a habit. I want to pull it away from my nose. It's irritating right here. Like right here, annoying. And it's when you mention it, Stacy, because Stacy says, stop touching your mask. It's true. And one other thing about Corona, they say you mustn't touch your face and everything. And I'm somebody who like gesturing, you know, I like, you know, talking and doing that. You know, it's a habit. <laughs> it's a habit. So, see, I adjust it again. So between it falling down every minute, maybe I need to fix this part. And I have other masks, you know, I have different styles. I have ones that you wear around your neck and pull up and thing, but all of them different. Oh, tie it properly. It's like it come like this. Where I can't tie it. I have to just catch it right here at the back for true. You see how it's sliding down? That's what it keep doing. As I talk and it keeps sliding down. I bought this at my nail salon place. October when it's breast cancer awareness month, you know? Yeah, so every time I talk and it keep pulling down, so I'm, I'm feeling it and it's like I'm feeling it and keep going like this, going like this, yeah. Yeah, see? Yeah. So anyway, just one of those things. And even sometimes the, the guys on the plane, they're like, yo, you know, or I'm in the doctor's office and they're like, can you please pull it up? It happens with other masks with me too, with the surgical one, where I keep pulling it down because it's irritating right across here. Right across the nose. Hey Marlon, what's up, Jigga? Long time in a see a Parkinson man. Big up, big up. You're still in England? Hey, it's supposed to cool you know, in England still. Cause if we chilly, if it's a chilly in Florida in the 60s and in New York it, it's snowing, I can't imagine how England cool as well. So you guys, if you want to come from England, Canada, anywhere in the world, guys, you're welcome. You're welcome to Jamaica. We welcome people of all nationalities. Everybody welcome to come and enjoy our culture enjoy some free some some time even just to relax you don't have to go anywhere you know you can come and relax enjoy the food you know enjoy the, the ambience and so that is what i usually that's what gets me when i get home it's not even when i'm not in the mood you know like i'm not in the christmas spirit type of thing like wasn't really ready you know when i get home or you know as soon as i head into the airport i felt the excitement come on i was excited and more excited the way that you're like oh shit it's really happening i'm really on the plane now <laughs> like no turning back now you see when i reach home it's the sweetest feeling when the wheelchair people pick me up and they're like they start talking patois like, good day man how are you just their accent you know my jamaican accent and seeing the people that i tell them every time i go home that they will that they always make me feel welcome they're very hospitable you know I grew up in hospitality and a lot of people are trained to be hospitable but people sometimes it's not it's just a natural vibe yeah my natural vibe in Jamaica so that's what I'm looking forward to is that is that's what I'm going home for is to enjoy the culture it's not about going out and going to no parties and so forth and big event and all those things it's about enjoying family friends people nearby and enjoying you know just life differently you know and, and taking advantage I'm putting on weight already I shouldn't be eating no food 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 and enjoying the food so much but that's what life is about too you know what I mean I don't have a really good appetite sometimes and my belly swells up and makes me feel uncomfortable all kind of ways and you know even though and sometimes I don't want to eat I'll go the whole day and don't want to eat and think and starve myself which is not healthy but I have to eat you know it keeps the brain going and make your focus better 
make you concentrate and things better but you need to feed the brain you know what i'm saying so food is very important guys and food is a part of the culture food is one reason why people travel is to experience these things you know what i mean and um for those guys of you guys who are into marijuana whether it's for medical use or recreational use we have ganja fest sometimes down there where they have concerts with different people you know they had that some last year that i enjoyed for the first time you know those are things that happen in the grill we have dream weekend you know big events that can't happen during the summer in august july august every year but they didn't have it this year you know carnival happens in kingston but sometimes people come to the grill too to come and enjoy different vibes so if and if you're in the grill and you want to travel to ocho rios to look at the size there we can arrange those things for you we can arrange travel to anywhere basically in the in the country and we can arrange pickup from you at, for you at the airport so you can you don't have to worry about anything whatever it is that you need just tell us that whatever you need and we get it sorted for you and speaking on that if you guys have any plans to do like reunion if you ever want to do a family reunion wedding those types of things we cater for those things at the Negril Beach Club there are people who operate the restaurant and bar separately from the owners of the hotel it's a business within the hotel the restaurant and bar and so what happened the people who own that they're the ones who cater if you guys want to do any kind of events there like birthdays you know you can think about that to do your birthday party at the hotel I had my wedding there in 2010 on the beach I'm divorced now but I had a beautiful wedding on the beach and a white and gold wedding that they organized for me with a violinist and a, and a steel band I had a steel band by the pool and I had a violinist on the beach and we party till four o'clock in the morning the sound system was blazing all morning <laughs> all when people now nah, dance the sound are gone <laughs> so basically we can do a lot at the hotel guys it just depends what theme you want to do and what you want you know what your plans are we have medical missions that come to the hotel as well you know nurses and doctors who come all the time every year at a set time with their group and we have we cater for them for breakfast lunch dinner and set them on um, you know get them ready to go on the road as well to do their mission work so we're involved in a lot of different types of groups group settings so you know we can organize anything you want guys and if we can't do it we hook you up with the right people all right so with that let's see what time it is it's 11 o'clock no the flight should have been leaving at like 10 20 something 10 30 but it's a little delayed now and i don't see anybody else board boarding this here is irritating my back already that's why I don't like hair. I really don't like hair. I weave and so because even a while ago it was rubbing on my skin. My skin very sensitive where my cut. My, I have a cut right in my back right here where my metal rod is. And the skin is numb at some parts and extra sensitive at some parts. And I don't know which part is sensitive or not. It just happens where some things just irritate my back easily. So I, can, I could have feel it a while ago from the hair. So it's a good thing I eat long. I can just bring it around so it don't touch on my back so those are the little little things that go through that you know people don't understand and doctors don't have time to talk about why I do these blogs so you guys can understand what a spinal cord patients go through and um, nerve damage patients go through so anyway big up guys if you guys want to join my live let me know big up to Miss Ebony when I come back next year I'll link you up at, Eb at Energy Tuesday Energy Tuesday goes on every Tuesday at Club Cutters <laughs> in Fort Lauderdale so you guys get out and have a great time I always love you guys having fun big up to chippy the dj over there chippy fire and uh, the rest of the crew over there big up to everybody who keep us entertained who keep us happy you know i always love people who keep happy and you know take good care of people and take care of yourself as well you know what i mean so oh you know tomorrow is yankee girl uh it's gal parade <laughs> Mimi having her party tomorrow Saturday and I'm gonna be missing it sorry guys I went last year and um, supported that but down at the ghetto down at Mill Millennium I think it's down Millennium she having it again this year gal parade so you guys check out my flyers from my friends out there whether it's my Facebook friends real friends fake friends whoever it is you know what I'm saying just you know help me to share everybody's flyers and share my stuff too all right guys that's all I ask that's all I ask is so you can help me with the marketing for what I do. All right, guys. So big up and respect to everybody worldwide. And I'll, ca I'll catch up with you guys when I'm in Jamaica, man. I don't know what's going on with the flight, but they're just up front, just chilling by the door. So I'm going to eat some food now.
kind of getting hungry still because I haven't eaten all morning and it's 11 o'clock now. I'm trying to break that habit of not of starving, you know, or not eating and to continue getting that proper protein in, you know what I'm saying? Without too much fats. So yeah, so you guys will see me blogging as I go along about the food spots. I'll show you some food spots that I go to because I love food to show you guys the different food areas. Um, and there's some, you know, there are going to be some new things to discover because a lot of places, couple places I know closed down, and there are a couple places I know reopened or some mobile places that sell food that my boyfriend been telling me about in Jamaica. You know, he's been eating at different places that he wants to show me. So that's the quality of life that we have. Is at the end of his day after work, we we'll go and we we'll have some good dinner. We we'll go eat, eat out, and have a good time. And then on Sundays, sometimes we go to bike show. So I don't know if any bike shows going on tomorrow, so like this weekend. There's one going on tomorrow, sat today. Today is Saturday, sorry. A matter of fact, today is gal parade. Today is Saturday. <laughs> I'm there talking like today is Friday. So yeah. So basically, I know I said a lot today in the live and everything, but share the live for me, please. Share, share, share the live. Let's get the word out about traveling. You know, look how the planes are empty. People not spending money to travel because they're scared. Or they're losing work and don't have the money, you know, because a lot of people lost jobs. And trust me, I lost a lot. I lost a lot this year from a lot of different reasons that I won't get into. But I'm an investor and I'm somebody who try a lot of things differently. And I lose when I'm ready too, you know, and our business has been slow as well. So that is the reason why I ask for your help is to help me, you know, by marketing and stuff to help me to make some money. Because I need to pay my bills, I need to continue taking care of my health and my family has the one who's my family is the, are the ones who've been helping me with my medical issues and you know to put me up they've been helping to shelter me help me with my you know just to be there for me as well and help me with my son on those days when I can't when I'm not you know able to get up and go they're there for me and give my son food make sure we're all right so you know big respect to my family I love you guys a lot no matter what we all go through I've gone through a lot with my family and with friends too so sorry about you get sorry about things guys in the past but I've been through a lot and I've been through a lot of drama that I see being repeated out there on Facebook and Instagram and all the social media. No matter how much time I try to forget about the past, things come up and things that have been similar to my situation. So it just goes to show you guys that we're not alone, you know, we're not alone in this. You're not alone out there no matter what you're going through. I don't care what you're going through, you're not alone. It is so true. So I try to keep a positive vibe, a positive energy. A lot of people see me and don't know me and don't know what I got through because they see me dancing, they see me laughing, smiling and thing. When I might be really severely depressed and just bummed out and just, you know, I embarrass sometimes that I don't work. You know, and that's normal to go through that. People call me crazy sometimes, they stereotype me, demean me. I get used to that. You know, so a lot of abuse happens out there, guys, and it's been happening in the media a lot where, where people have been coming up with their abuse and what they've been going through from childhood and all. But, you know, and like I said, no matter how we try to forget about the past, we, you know, these things come up in the media and on the news. So even more reason to take a vacation. <laughs> get a change of scene. <laughs> even more reason to take a vacation, get a change of scene. So you can try to just forget about those stressors out there you know what i'm saying so big up to everybody out there it, especially if you're going through a lot just remember that you can message me too you know there are people who message me sometime and tell me how they're going through something or the other and they just want somebody to talk to sometimes people just want somebody to talk to i have my way of venting like what i do now on social media i don't mind telling people my business i don't mind venting about my health and my wealth and you know what I'm doing because I like to inspire people I like to teach I like to teach and inspire people so ladies, ladies and gentlemen we're gonna um, be deploying the aircraft we're gonna change this aircraft right now Are they're you gonna serious? bring us an aircraft from here in Fort Lauderdale they're Are already here babe um, for an estimated time I was picking up JetBlue so much so and now they might change the plane. <laughs> I told you. And then we're going to start boarding you with a new aircraft um, that's already here in Fort Lauderdale for an estimated time of departure of 1230. 1230. Okay? No, we have a call in Jamaica. Tell them to leave. It's okay. You see, as long as we read safe, that's all that matters to me. As long as we read safe. Alright, we're going to start boarding with a new aircraft that's already here in Fort Lauderdale for an estimated time of departure of 1230. 
Anyway, so everybody bored and we have a switch play now. <laughs> Listen, you see, as long as we read safe, you know, long be the fly jet blue. That's why I'm a miss spirit. Hey, big up to all the spirit people. As a matter of how they talk about spirit, I miss spirit. And, and Southwest, I was trying as flying the other day, guys. But I miss spirit. They used to miss spirit so much. My, my family love Caribbean Airlines or Air Jamaica, right? No matter how they love Caribbean Airlines, they spend more money to go on it just because it used to be Air Jamaica. They lo they're loyal, they're very loyal to the airline, right? First time with JetBlue in a long time. Sure check the Yo, the wheelchair service been good, but in terms of the on-time service, it's bad because I don't know why we're changing planes and they don't tell us why we're delayed. They don't tell us it's the weather or anything like that. So apart from that, it's all good. So now I gotta wait and get another get the wheelchair again i gotta go back in the wheelchair to go to the other gate or whichever other plane all right guys so i gotta go big up to craig and everybody watching all right remember share my life for me share my life and remember we're all human guys and we go through a lot in life but we just gotta be positive and just make sure that you know we just finish 2020 with a bang and just start brand new in 2021 just start brand new yeah man next year yeah man we have whole heap of things that we need to work on next year and take different things so big up guys and keep the links, keep the positive energy going. And you know what? Your chair is waiting at the Negro Beach Club condos. All right, so little more guys. I know it was a long talk, but big up. Respect due from the real Dr. G. From Karen Anita Gaynor, medical doctor and family medicine specialist. All right, and entrepreneur and blogger and all kind of things I do. All right, little more, all right? Respect due.